There you go, some pack. Um, now why I why not tie that checkbox party party pack? Let's see what we have in the demo. Maybe we can play together. I just need to pick a game and okay let's hit the promo oh no you've tried other party games but they're just so hard to control now the makers of the hit trivia party game you don't know Jack introduce the Jackbox party pack the Jackbox party pack has not one not two not three, not four, not six, but five unique and hilarious party games for one crazy low price. Unlock today and you'll get the Trivial Riot You Don't Know Jack 2015 with hundreds of hilariously twisted trivia questions and the BS Slinging Fibbage XL. But that's not all. You'll also receive the hilariously bizarre drawing game, Drawful. The racy as you want to be word game, Word Spud. And the wacky, fat filled Lie Swatter. All for one ridiculously low price. Most video party games can cost you 30, 40, there's for one game. And you just never have enough controllers for everyone to play. Well, with the Jackbox Party Pack, you can play all five games using your phones and tablets as controllers. So don't waste time with those other party games. Get the Jackbox Party Pack now and be the toast of game night. Unlock the Jackbox Party Pack today. Mm-hmm. Nice formal. Okay, I would start the game if I could play alone. And yeah, I know you saw that there are two watchers, but it's me. One from the PC, from the laptop, and one from the phone. From the laptop, because I want to see that we can see it. And from the phone, because I am playing from the, the vet. And then, so that from the bed I can watch and see. But because, oh, hello there. If you wanna play, write in the comments what you want to play and let's start it. But we need something with two players at least. Like that thing, word spam. Oh, there is something for one player. Let's do it. Oh, it's just a promo. Uh, word spam. Fibbage. Let's try it.
Hmm. Okay. But how I uh, what I did. What is that? Demon Scremo. Unlock the party pack now and get everything. Hit the unlock button now to get it. I had fun. <laughs> so I can't really try it. What? Let's, let's try to try it. Oh. Using a player. We are on. Okay, everybody. If you're not sure what to do right now, maybe just uh, the knobs, try to look back. Multiplayer from the phone. We are good to go. Uh, could we get one of the writers in here for some more pre-show announcements? I feel like I've said some of these a couple times already. All right. So I need to go to the so website. I forgotten my bag, and I go back into the office to get it. There they are, all the security guards dressed up like us, shouting our catchphrases. Uh, Penelope? Penelope, do you think that that's how your costume is supposed to look? Really? Mm hmm. Uh, I didn't make it to the website. Alright, so we can play ready. I can try. There is the single player new Hello. game. Hello, is this thing on? I can hear myself. I don't think it's working. If I could Let's. have everybody who thinks they're doing it. Okay. This is You Don't Know Jack 2015. I'm your host, Cookie Masterson. And hey, wipe that smile off your face. This is serious. <laughs> Okay, just kidding. There will be parts and stuff. Couldn't get anyone to join you, huh? Yeah, I know how you feel. And our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... The San Francisco Otter Choir. Free concerts every Wednesday, except for dating season. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. And so it begins. Get ready, time to question. Run. Right off the bat, booty full. Let's analyze one of Kim Kardashian's body parts. About what percentage of Kim Kardashian's brain is just made up of water? 10%, 40%, 80%, or 100%? What are you implying exactly? Kim Kardashian's brain, and everybody else's brain for that matter, is made up of about 80% water. <laughs> but that other 20% is just so round and firm, I can't stop thinking about it. I hope I need to... I call okay. this one... His acting is alright, alright, alright. So, you know how they called Matthew McConaughey's resurgence as an actor his McConaissance? Well, if Matthew McConaughey is currently experiencing a McConaissance, then what period of his life just ended? The McConaughey Dark Ages, the McConaughey Industrial Age, the McConaughey Middle Ages, or the McConaughey Enlightenment Age? Uh, uh, I think you know it's coming. Ah! Next no. time, try this. The Renaissance first occurred oh. in Italy in the late 14th century, immediately following the Middle Ages. So the Meconaissance would follow the Meconna Middle Ages. I wanted this Which is funny this because one most Renaissance sculptures also need to put on a damn shirt. <laughs> Dance with me, Disco 3. Disco 3. Try this on for size. Brought to you by the letter U Nebrow. And if you get this one right, I'll rustle up some extra moolah for you. 
Arrange these Sesame Street characters in order of fewest to most eyebrows. Bert, huh. Ernie, the Count. Ernie, Bert, the Count. Bert, Ernie, the Count. The Count, Bert, Ernie, or Ernie, the Count, Bert. I don't know. Ernie has no eyebrows at all. Bert has one long single eyebrow. And the Count has two. Two eyebrows! <laughs> What? I did it right? That earned you an extra thousand dollars. <laughs> and yet, none of them have ever blinked. Nice. Here's a good one. Duck, duck, swan. Say the cast of Duck Dynasty attends a performance of Swan Lake and thinks there are real waterfowl on stage. In their confusion, which character would they most likely shoot? Siegfried, Benno, Von Rothbart, or Odette? Um, I don't know. Odette is a princess who has been turned into a swan, so the Duck Dynasty crew would probably fill her full of lead. <laughs> Especially if they find really out she once fooled around with a lady swan in college. How about the man in the backwards yellow hat? And it's a dis or dad. I'm going to read off seven things, and for each one, you tell me if it's an alleged antic by pop star Justin Bieber or an antic by the classic children's book character Curious George. If it's Justin Bieber, press the square button. If it's Curious George, press the circle button. We good? Here we go. Peed in a mop bucket. Broke his leg falling from a fire escape. Arrested for falsely reporting a at the house. Got high on ether. Fed a bugle to an ostrich. Went to a Brazilian brothel. You were a couple of bananas short of a bunch. Oh, nice. I think we can all agree that it's time for that little bastard to get deported. And then it's your turn, Bieber. <laughs> That'll wrap up round one. And your score is pretty much just fairly okay. Remember, in round two, every question is worth double. And remember, our wrong answer of the game is still out there waiting to be picked. Okay, how about it? Okay. Here's one for you. Dumber and dumber -er 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 too. So there's dumb and dumber, and then there was dumb and dumber, -er, and then dumb and dumber too. Makes perfect sense. Now going back a few decades, there was the odd couple and the odd couple too. So if another remake of the odd couple used the superlative adjective, it would be called the blank couple. Odd, otter, oddest, or otterist. Nah. Good effort. Good effort. <laughs> Allow me. Odd is the adjective, otter is the comparative adjective, and oddest is the superlative adjective. But of course, everyone who made the original Odd Couple movies is dead, which means it's the perfect time for Rob Schneider to swoop in and revitalize the franchise. Question 7! Okay. It's time for... Let it go, let it go, let it go! At which temperature would Olaf from the movie Frozen melt and die? 30 degrees Kelvin, 30 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius, or 30 degrees Rankin? He's a snowman. Fahrenheit. Mm. Hmm, you may not know how temperatures work. Yeah, so Where's right. that confounded right answer? 30 degrees is below freezing in Fahrenheit and insanely below freezing in Kelvin and Rankin. But it's pretty balmy in Celsius, about the equivalent of 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And I know, blah blah blah, he can magically be saved, but I'm talking about what would happen in the real world to a talking snowman. Follow me down to the sea. Oh, boy. Of course. Here we have Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, Yo. or Uranus. For 
first spotted in 18 Einstein or your that answer has a hole in it <laughs> were you thinking of this one Albert Einstein was first spotted in 1879, the year he was born. Probably by a midwife or something over a century after Uranus was discovered and even longer after kangaroos and peanuts. I've heard baby Einstein cried a lot because he left behind some important equations on the uterine wall. What? Let's try... Wine or lose? If the Washington Redskins rebranded themselves with a non-offensive Redskins mascot, what could they be called? The Washington Chardonnays, the Washington Malbecs, the Washington Pinot Blancs, or the Washington Rieslings? <laughs> this isn't going to go with dinner at all. Yeah, the correct just... answer is... Chardonnays, Pinot Blancs, and Rieslings oh, are all white-skinned grapes, but the that? Malbec grape is red. Although to a connoisseur like myself, I Malbec to, is to very that offensive. And then <laughs> oh yes, I do oh, say man. that was quite a burn. Why not try... I want to lick and roll all night. What is that? If Kiss singer Gene Simmons' tongue grew to the average length of an adult giraffe's, how deep into a woman's mouth could he stick it when he kissed her? About 5 inches deep, about 10 inches deep, about 20 inches deep, or about 30 inches deep? I think at that point it would practically be coming out the other end. Watch how easy this is. An adult giraffe's tongue is on average about 18 to 20 inches long. So that's about how deep into a woman's mouth a giraffe-tongued Gene Simmons could stick it. And if Gene Simmons' neck grew to the length uh -huh, of an adult play. giraffe's, he may not even need women anymore. That's beautifully high. Um, it's a demo. And I just guessing... Step right uh, up to the jack attack. When you see two clues that match, what I need press to do? the X button. X. Ah, like you that. already know the rules. Off you go. Your okay. house is made of what? What materials are their houses made from? The rock. I didn't... I don't get it. Oh, I don't need to... every time. Not that. Can't have it. No, of course not. Rock. Glass. No. Intestines. I really don't get it. <laughs> Great, you can speak English. I can speak German or Dutch. Uh, um, sorry, I don't know German or Dutch. I'm from Israel. I know Hebrew and English. And a little Spanish. Oh, okay. Let's see what I am my Spanish for. That's all she wrote! The truth is, home is wherever you hang your hat. My hat is currently hanging in my old college roommate's best cottage. Okay, my rent is... You don't know Jack! Yeah, I don't know Jack, you're right. Um, whatever the hell you speak. Alright then, I, uh, I will continue with English.
Okay. Um. Let's see. Can I try other things? I don't think it will let me. Yes. I. I might. I think maybe I will. Um, buy this game or. A newer game. I don't know. But it is. Very fun to other people together. If I will have a lot of people who are coming to this, um, um, I forgot the word, who are coming to this live show, um, Twitch here, then, oh, then fuck, put in kid. Add a message for reason profanity allow will post it in chat. Feebitch sexy? What? Feebitch? Let's try it. We can try it? I don't know. Hundreds of new questions. Let's. Okay, I pressed the button. Uh huh. Okay, I can't write. There is promo, promo. We don't know Jack, I tried. Okay, so. I, tr I can try only one game. And it's. You don't know Jack. From 2015. Okay, um, I think I'll finish this and I'll get back to another game. Uh, to try another game, or I will continue with Digimon. So don't go, you can press on the follow button if you want to follow me and come again to other streams that I have play uh, I just got started plus or minus okay whatever Lo it's not Leo it's Leo but thank you so cool uh, so just wait and I'll get back thank you for watching